Thanks for watching this clip from Country Road TV's YouTube channel. For full episodes, you can watch anywhere, anytime, on any device. Go to www.countryroadtv.com. Enter code COMMUNITY and get a free month. Now enjoy this video. We are in the small town of Batesville, Arkansas, population just a little over 10,000. We are on Main Street, which has been undergoing some major revitalization, celebrating their past and rich history. But it's cutting edge technology, coupled with a little major attitude that's really putting them back on the map. And making some noise. This is a story about being a cut above and building a brand while rebuilding an American small town at the same time. About 80 miles north of Little Rock is Batesville. Its main claim to fame over the years is that it's the oldest city in Arkansas. But for the past 15 years, Batesville has been on the map for another reason. It's been home to Bad Boy Mowers, the single most innovative, fastest growing, and fun zero-turn mower on the market. What do you think it is about the mower itself that has allowed this kind of growth? Well, from the beginning, we said, we got to make a lawn mower cool. <laughs> Yeah, how do you do that? How do you do that? Since the dawn of time, man has been pursuing that lofty goal. From four-legged weed eaters, to the scythe, to early push-behind mowers, gas and electric, ride atop, even high-tech automated mobots. But the coolness breakthrough came in 2001 when the company built a prototype of a zero turn that had its test pilot driving it more like a Harley than a lawnmower. He's sitting there doing 360s and wheelies and burning rubber, and he finally gets off the mower and jumps up. He goes, man, that's a real bad boy. <laughs> we went, that's the name. <laughs> the name. <laughs> now, bad boy's slogan is mow with an attitude. And being that we were at the company's annual dealer meeting, and there was an obstacle course for everyone to try out the latest models, it was time for Jan to saddle up for her very first time. The outlaw? Yeah. The Outlaw sounds like it should be for a more experienced driver. Push them forward to go forward, okay. pull them back. If you want to turn to the right, you just kind of push that one forward kind of, and this one back. Like you're pushing a shopping cart. Shopping cart. You oh, that this? I get. Okay, start your engines. Okay, so in the beginning, I was a little timid. They're brand new? Yeah. Not a scratch on them? No. That is not a good thing. She's a little tentative right now. Woo! Oh! You don't know that I don't know how to turn it. I know I'm going slow, I know, I know. It's intuitive for you. Oh, geez. wait, wait, okay, he's running circles around me. Is he tailgating? I think he's tailgating. Hey, decided I'd try it backwards for a while. Now you're a show off. I wasn't showing off, I was mowing with an attitude. There's just something about a guy and motor and power and speed. Crank it up. Look out, I got this now. So I have a new name for the obstacle course. Oh yeah. It is the Motown 500. Woo hoo! You know what, I think I got the hang of it pretty fast. You did good, really good. You know what I kept had to say? What? Shopping cart, shopping cart, <laughs> shopping cart. Now you're never gonna want a lot more with a steering wheel again. How are y'all doing out there? Bad Boy prides itself on its rapidly growing dealer network. Once a year, it throws a big party to celebrate the company's Made in America success. The crowd was treated to a performance by Arkansas native and The Voice finalist, Barrett Baber, who recently joined the Bad Boy team. And it was just kind of a natural fit for us, a great company that was built from the ground up, which is you know really similar to what I'm trying to do in country music, you know. Everywhere we turned, it was plain to see that there's a lot of pride in the company. We only sell bad boys. That's my pick of the litter. The cut is amazing, most comfortable machine, and it's good looking. Yeah. What does it mean to sell something that is made in America? That's a big deal. Made in America is going to mean something again, and bad boy is going to be one of the companies that's leading that charge. They are saying we are going to play on the playing field with the rest of the globe, and we're going to dominate from a small town, that's exactly what they're doing. The key to Bad Boy's success has been its more than 700 employees. And the main thing is treat people right and just do right. Bad Boy owner and co-founder Phil Pulley says the company's success comes from a philosophy that values each and every worker. We're all basically in it together and we've worked hard and we really enjoy what we do. We try to make it as good an attitude and as good a place that you can have in the U.S. to work. 
Bad Boy also believes in giving back to the community. They've wired the Old Town area for free Wi-Fi. They've also helped support Zach Brown's Camp Southern Ground. It's operated year-round and hosts everyone from special needs kids to military veterans and their families. Jeremy Lanks. Hey, Rodney. Jan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Teach us a little assembly work Absolutely. Here. Welcome to Bad Boys. Woo. So to get a sense of what it's like on the factory floor, we got our assignment. To bolt the engine to the frame on a new zero-turn outlaw sounds easy enough. What could possibly go wrong? I can't really get it lined up. Can you see if I've got it lined up? Oh, now you need my help. Is there supposed to be a hole in there? Well, if yours isn't lined up, mine's not lined up. <laughs> we are terrible. You know, they already would have had like three done by now. Kind of selling us short there, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, that's too much. We're doing something wrong. I don't know what we're doing wrong. Oh, okay, my. what are we doing wrong? Everything. <laughs> After what seemed like hours trying to screw in this one simple boat, Jeremy came clean. They don't thread in by hand. You actually have to drive them in with an impact. Are you? What? <laughs> oh, we totally just got played. <laughs> Rookies. I'm going to leave the making the bad boys to the experts because I had a lot more fun driving one. Thanks for watching this free clip from Country Road TV. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when new free videos have been posted. Also, be sure to click the like button. To see full episodes, head on over to www.countryroadtv.com.